Electricity, that's what we've been about since 1936. Since then, Cimarron's mission of bringing electricity to its members has been nothing short of successful. But over the years, it's become more than that. It's about powering our neighbors heating in the winter, keeping the lights on at the ball field, and keeping your phones charged to capture those special moments. We are proud to be part of your community. Thank you for being part of Cimarron for all of these years. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. Team up with Pioneer iVideo and start streaming the most popular TV shows and movies from your favorite devices today. Download the iVideo app and start watching anywhere in your home using Pioneer Internet. Each package includes free high definition and cloud DVR features like Video On Demand, Restart TV, and Replay TV, just in case you forget to record a program. Visit GoPioneer.com for more details and compatible devices. Some restrictions apply. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. FloorTech proudly serves schools across the state of Oklahoma with their gym floor and janitorial supply needs. At Bellamy & Company, we know agriculture. Every day we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life, resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. For generations, the FFA has been helping our children through agriculture to grow into responsible adults. We believe in and we support the work being done by our local FFA chapters and all they do to create an enriching experience for our youth. For all you do, you have our thanks. Farm Credit of Enid. Together, we grow. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. Welcome back to Cashin High School for the County Line Tournament, our final game on semifinal Friday night. The Clinton Red Tornado, 9-3, ranked number 20 in Class 4A, take on the number one team in Class 2A, the 14-1 Dale Pirates. And with no further ado, away we go. This is going to be a fun one, Tom. You betcha. Starting lineups, first of all, for Clinton. Jeremiah Barker is a 5'9 sophomore. Caden Powell, he's a stud, 6'3 oh, senior. Harrison Crumley, a 6'2 senior. Nate Jones, a 6-foot tall senior. And Jackson Crumley, a 6'2 senior. A very senior dominated starting lineup. And a shot inside no good by Jackson Crumley. And an empty trip for Clinton as we are just underway. Nice look inside. The shot blocked out of there. Caden Powell got a hand on it. Starting lineup for Dale Easton. Or take it back, Jack. Uh, Easton Edmondson, a 5'9 freshman. Had 14 last night against Varnum. 
Jeff Higdon's a 6'3 freshman. Levi Kelly, a 5'9 freshman. Deacon Jones, a 6'0 tall sophomore. And Dayton Forsythe, a 6'0 tall sophomore. And Dale will keep the possession. A couple of empty missed shots. Deep three-pointer, a little long. That one missing by Levi Kelly, who's a freshman. They got some youth on this team for yeah, Dale. It's there. so impressive. They're going to be, they're always good at Dale, but they're going to be really good for the next few years. Oh. Three pointer spins out. Tough shooting lot for Nate Jones. Clinton in the road maroons. Dale in the home whites. I like those Dale uniforms with the just the understated pirate logo I like in the it middle of the jersey. And the number is very visible. And the best thing about calling boys games, no big ponytails obscuring the number. <laughs> Turnover for Dale, their first. Minute 20 in, no score. There goes Caden Powell. All the way to the hoop, misses. Rebound out to Easton Edmondson. Edmondson in the half court, leaves it left side to Dayton Forsyth. Remember Dayton Forsyth from a year ago when he was a freshman. He'll pull up right baseline, miss from 10. Rebound cleared by Jackson Crumley. Yeah, it's crazy to think that he's one of the veterans on this team yeah, now. Yeah, exactly right. And his, I believe his brother's playing basketball at USAO. Down in Chickasha. Catch and shoot three topside. Off the rim, no good by Jackson Crumley. There's an open three left corner. Deacon Jones, no good. Offensive rebound, Edmondson. Open three right corner. Jones again, misses again. Rebound to Caden Powell. Caden coast to coast all the way and up and in. And Clinton on top, two to nothing. Five twenty to play in the first quarter. Dale scores sixty-eight points a game. They give up forty-five at the plus twenty-three. Three-pointer left corner. There's a answer by Dayton Forsyth to give Dale the lead at three to two. Clinton scores fifty-nine points a game. They give up fifty per contest. They beat Bethel yesterday, 63-48. Dale beat Varnum, 79-55. In the lane, Caden Powell up and in. Well, and that, that's going to be a matchup to watch all night because Dale does not have anyone at the level of physicality that Caden Powell is. Caden Powell leading the Red Tornado to the state championship in football in Class 4A. What a run they had. Yeah, so impressive. Oh. Now, Caden's going to go play baseball at OU. I believe he's been committed to OU since eighth grade. Wow. That's when you know you're pretty good at baseball, right? Yeah, it's kind of like my daughter. She's been, com in her mind, she's been committed to <laughs> OU for about a month. <laughs> Mom and dad are saying, you better get really good at baseball or something. <laughs> Shot underneath by Jet Higdon. He's fouled. Caden Powell will pick up his first. Jets a freshman, 6'3". Yeah, you take a look at the starting lineup. Easton Edmondson's a 5'9 freshman. Jeff Higdon, a, or Jet Higdon, a 6'3 freshman. You've got a, another freshman in Levi Kelly, a sophomore in Deacon Jones, and a sophomore in Dayton Forsyth. And they're number one in the state in Class 2A. Free throw up and in. And we are tied for the first time. I believe their only loss is to Jones, who we've yeah, seen, that's correct? That's right, yes. And I could see how Jones could cause them issues with their physicality and their size with the big, you know, the big post player, the quarterback mm -hmm. from Jones. Yeah, that loss was 76 to 71 back on December 7th at Jones. Saw Jones in the uh, Wheat Capital Tournament up in Enid a couple of weeks ago. Next week, we're gonna see a lot of great basketball at the Scordo Festival at Enid High School. 
I was talking yesterday. There's a, a turnover as Caden Powell loses the basketball. I was talking to Lomega Lady Raider, Raider head coach Kevin Llewellyn. They're going to take on Luther next week. And he is excited to take on a really, really, really good team in the Luther Lady Lions. Three-pointer Levi Kelly makes it 8-4. to four. I believe Luther girls uh, almost beat Jones the other night. Yeah. Uh, lost to him on a last-second shot. He was talking about, of course, they you know, play in Class B, always perennial you know, state champions, number one in the state. But the conference they play in, the Cherokee Strip's a little bit down this year, and they need some competition. They're going to get it next week at the uh, Enid High School. Harrison Crumley with the deuce, 8-6. to six. 2.44 to play, first quarter. I really think the Scordal Festival at Enid High's new gym is going to be a great, great situation. That facility is great for high school basketball. Caden Powell, right side of the baseline. Swings it into the corner. And Dale just solid defensively. They just make it so tough on you. Powell inside, scores. He had to work for it, but he gets it. Hey, we're tied at eight. Our second tie of the night. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Levi Kelly bounced past the post to Dayton Forsyth. Little step back, fall away from 10, no good. Ball out of bounds, last touch by Jeremiah Barker for Clinton. Into the ball game for Clinton is uh, Javion Hill, a 6'2 junior. Fourth eye right side. Wants to break down Powell. Right to Caden Powell, shoots it up and in. Dayton Forsyth, a couple of field goals, has five. And now Dale goes back on top 10 to eight. Minute and a half to play, first quarter. Crumley high left. Finally, JV on Hill. Hill loses the basketball. As Levi Kelly comes up with the turnover, leads it to a layup on the other end by Deacon Jones. 12 to eight, four straight by the Pirates. Dale just off. I-40 just east of Oklahoma City. Clinton on I-40 way out west of Oklahoma City. Three-pointer left side open, good. <laughs> Levi Kelly, a couple of triples in the quarter for him. He has six. It's a 15 to eight lead. Seven straight scored by the Pirates. Final 40 seconds of the first quarter. Well, great ball movement there by Dale. They're so unselfish. Always find the open guy and the easy shot. Powell's double teamed, finds the open man on the backside, leads to a layup. Oh, blocked. Coming out of there with it is Levi Kelly. And subs into the contest. Trey Chamber is in for Dale. And Nate Jones got back in there for Clinton and also into the contest for the Red Tornado is Chaz Rivers, a six foot tall junior. Dale with the basketball and the seven-point lead. Final 20 seconds of the first quarter. Winner takes on Cashin, who won in double overtime tonight over OCS. Ten to play. Forsyth, nice look underneath, but Jet Higdon had his shot blocked out of bounds. It was Nate Jones who blocked it out of bounds. It will be a baseline right throw in with 6.2 seconds to play in the first quarter. Easton Edmondson. Deacon Jones drives and tried to shovel off into the corner, but throws it away with 2.7 seconds to play. Dale turns it over for the second time. Long three-pointer at the buzzer comes up well short by Caden Powell. First quarter in the books, Dale leads Clinton 15 to eight. We'll take a break. You're watching the County Line Tournament from Cashin on Scordle. When you're in the market for a new truck, what typically goes through your mind? 
Hi, it's John Johnson at Johnson's the Kingfisher. Is it make, the model, and from where? The Ram 1500s and 2500s are outstanding trucks, so it might just be the dealership you choose. At Johnson's the Kingfisher, our auto family has been providing Oklahoma families with quality trucks and great customer service for more than 90 years. Not many dealerships can say that. Come meet our family and take advantage of the great pricing on new Ram 1500s and 2500s during the Ram Power Days at Johnson's of Kingfisher. Second quarter coming up from Cash and Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorst, our producer, engineer Bryce Miller, and Caden the Fortune on camera. Dale leads Clinton 15 to 8, and the Pirates have the basketball, and they have scored seven straight. We were tied at eight. Now it's a seven point lead. Jones right side backs out the dribble. Levi Kelly has six points. Dayton Forsyth five to lead Dale. Caden Powell has six of Clinton's eight points in the ball game. Easton Edmondson out high. Dribbles out to the right wing. Edmondson curls into the lane, pull up 14 footer, yes sir. He had 14 last night against Varnum, that's his first points of the evening to make it 17 to eight, biggest lead of the ball game at nine and a steal. Not style points there, but the finish for Deacon Jones. He's got four, 19 to eight, prompts a timeout by Lucy and Bliss in the Clinton Red Tornado. We'll take a break, 7-0-1 to play in the first half. You're watching the County Line Tournament on Scordle. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Second quarter underway. Clinton with the basketball trailing Dale 19 to 8 after that timeout. We're a minute and 10 seconds in as as Dale scored the first two baskets of the second quarter to go up by double figures. Three-pointer right side. Nate Jones buries it. He had three points against Bethel yesterday. He's equaled that to make it 17 or 19 to 11. Edmondson cut off, looks to the back door underneath the Dayton Forsyth. Right side to Deacon Jones. Now, Levi Kelly attacks the right side of the lane, a little strong. Here come the Red Tornado on the run. Coast to coast, Caden Powell. Banker no good. Actually, would have been better if he would have banked it. It hit off the heel and missed. Use the backboard. Trey Chamber nearly lost it, but Dale keeps the possession. Edmondson out high now to Forsyth, back to Edmondson. Right elbow three, or right wing three by Levi Kelly is no good. That'd be a big elbow to get that far out there beyond the arc. Powell into a tie up and the arrow will keep it on that end. Jeremiah Barker back into the ball game for the Red Tornado. Jackson Crumley, the baseline right throw in, but first a timeout. Lucy and Bliss calls it, 5.33 to play. First half, Dale 19, Clinton 11. You're watching the county line tournament from Cashin on Scordle. 
Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Off the inbound, Caden Powell's fouled. At set play, get the ball into his hands. He draws the contact. Almost had the old-fashioned three-point play, but he will go to the line for two. And it is the first foul on Jet Higdon. Caden Powell had 23 last night. And on the season, he averages 20 a game, 20.4 points per ball game. Two for two, he has eight now in this one. As Clinton crawling back into it, now down by just six at 19 to 13. Ball loose and a steal as Dale turns it over for the third time. Powell for the layup in transition. Jeremiah Barker with the assist. Powell's in double figures with 10. Now a four-point game at 19 to 15. Five minutes to play in the first half. Yeah, Clinton makes you pay whenever you make mistakes. It's a good drive there by Forsyth. And the whistle stops play and free throws coming for the sophomore. It is the first on Harrison Crumley. Forsyth at the line, five points tonight. 14 yesterday in the win against Varnum. Talked about Dale having a 10 game winning streak coming in that only loss at Jones back in early December. They're four and against ranked teams this season. They were supposed to play at Bethel on Tuesday like the girls did and COVID canceled that ball game, so they had Tuesday night off and a chance to come and be a little fresher for this tournament. And it's showing so far, I would say. <laughs> Holding right side, Jackson Crumley. Now back out high, Harrison Crumley will cradle. Still a nice crowd here for this ball game. We had with Cash and Play in here in uh, the last boys semifinal, had a huge crowd for that game. This place was almost full. This gym, you can make some noise in this gym. Follow, two misses. Jackson Crumley comes up empty, leads to a run out, and good defense by Nate Jones getting back. Save the easy layup. Wow. Off the inbound. Lob it toward the front of the goal or the front of the rim and let Jet Higdon go to work. He's got three. 22 to 15. Bounce pass inside. Caden Powell has it the free throw line. 15 foot jumper. Banks hard off the backboard. No good. A rebound. Easton Edmondson on the floor. Threw it back toward the goal. Almost didn't work out for him, but Dale keeps the possession. Driving and dishing underneath, and a kicked ball that will stay with Dale. Seven-point lead for the Pirates, 3.46 to play in the first half. Back here tomorrow, the uh, Scordal Game of the Week crew for the final four games, two third-place games. And then we'll do the two championship games. Dale just turned it over for the fourth time. Three left wing. Nate Jones misses. Deacon Jones the rebound. All the way to the basket. Forsyth tip up and in. 
If at first you don't succeed, just follow your darn shot. Well, he's so quick getting back up off the floor when he misses. He jumps so fast. The lead is nine, biggest lead. Eh, they had 11-point lead at one point, so almost the biggest lead. Three left side. Jeremiah Barker misses. Forsyth is fouled by Barker. Barker's first. Chaz Rivers back into the ball game for Clinton. Clinton coming into tonight, 9-3 and three the record. They've won three straight. They've won four of six against ranked teams and played a really good game against a very good Tuttle team. Lost 53, actually a 53-32, uh, I guess. I guess it was a 21-point game. I thought it was better than that. Now it's back in the Weatherford Tournament Final. So Dale with the nine-point lead in the basketball. Forsyth shadowed up high by Nate Jones. Jones making all kinds of contact. Forsyth just rises from the free throw line, missed a shot. Offensive rebound by Jet Higdon, and the freshman banks it in. Seven straight scored by Dale to make it 26-15. Another turnover. Make it nine straight. Timeout, Clinton. 28-15, 2 12 to play, first half. You're watching the County Line Tournament from Cashin on Scordal. This, this is your moment. You've got what it takes. The grit to get from first steps to finishing touches. You're here to train, to put in the hours. Because today's hard work gives you an edge. To get higher, to earn more to fine-tune a future to be proud of. Career Tech. Get skilled, get paid. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. Now you look at the way this second quarter's played out. Dale scored the first four points of the quarter to open up the 11-point lead at 19-8. Clinton came back, scored seven straight to get it back to 19 to 15, but now another run, nine straight scored by Dale. They lead by 13 with two minutes to play in the first half. Harrison Crumley right side on the wing. Plays catch with Jackson, Harrison and Jackson brothers, and a turnover, the fifth. Deacon Jones in traffic, missed the shot. Three-pointer right side, Jackson Crumley, yes sir. His first field goal, he had 20 yesterday against Bethel. Makes it 28-18, back to a 10-point deficit. And yeah, don't forget yesterday, Bethel had a sizable lead on Clinton in that first half, and Clinton came out, stormed out in the second half. It was 30-17, to Bethel at the half. And Clinton won the second half, 46 to 18. Powell, a little strong. I think he thought there was going to be some contact. Put a little too much on it. Back the other way. Pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, and Ethan Douglas scores. 45 seconds to play in the first half. Jones's pass out high, nearly stolen, deflected right into the hands of an open Jackson Crumley. He'll miss the three, and Forsyth with the board. Forsyth wants to go coast to coast. Missed the shot, offensive rebound, Douglas, and he's fouled.
Jackson Crumley picks it up. It's his first. Ethan Douglas at the line. Had five points against Varnum yesterday. First one on the way and no good off the left side of the rim. Trey Chamber back into the ball game. Jet Higdon will take a seat for Dale. One of two. Thirty-one eighteen. final 16 seconds of the first half. Down to 10 as Harrison Crumley pounds the dribble. Left side to Jackson, skip pass to Harrison, skip pass to Jackson for three. Got it. Jackson Crumley, two triples in the second quarter. He has six points total, and it's a 10-point game. Halfway through this one, Dale leads Clinton 31 221. We'll take a quick break, come back and wrap up the first half with the scoring, and then take a longer break in the second quarter. Second half, excuse me, is just around the corner. You're watching the County Line Tournament from Cashin on Scordal. Are you looking for a local, reliable propane provider? Earnhardt Oil and Propane has been serving customers throughout Oklahoma since 1971. Let them tailor a pricing option to fit your budget. Avoid winter price spikes with easy pay, steady, predictable monthly payments you can count on. Need more fuel options? They also offer bulk fuel delivery, DEF, lubricants, and supplies for your business, all at competitive prices. For reliability three generations strong, call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. Dr. Devin Nightingale is your chiropractic choice in North Edmond with easy access from Cashin, Guthrie, Luther, and all the Oklahoma City surrounding areas. As a former college athlete, Dr. Nightingale understands the importance of a fully functioning body to gain that competitive edge. Also certified in prenatal and pediatric treatments, Dr. Nightingale sees all types of patients, ranging from two weeks old to 97 years old. We offer conservative treatments to get you back in the game, whether you're a weekend warrior or a professional athlete. So give us a call at 405-471-5565 for a free consultation today. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, and lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Why be a ranger? At Northwestern, with small classes, you can be seen. With over 40 programs from business to nursing, you can be career driven. With a campus home away from home, you can be independent. With over half our students graduating without student loans, you can be debt free. And with a mosaic of cultures, you can be you. Northwestern, success lives here. Early on in this one, we had three lead changes, a couple of ties as we went back and forth, but Dale put together a run uh, to end the first quarter, opened up a 15-8 lead after the first eight minutes, scored the first four points of the second quarter to push our lead to double figures at 19-8. And then after uh, Clinton had gotten back to within 19-15, Dale scored 11 straight. And they lead 31 to 21 halfway through this one. Scoring in the ball game for Clinton, Caden Powell has 10 to lead the way. Jackson Crumley, a couple of three pointers are late in that first half. He has six. Nate Jones has three. Harrison Crumley with two. For Dale, led in the first half by Dayton Forsyth, he has eight. Jet Higdon and Levi Kelly with six points apiece. Deacon Jones with four and Ethan Douglas with three. Halftime. Dale 31. Clinton 21, you're watching the Cash and County Line Tournament on Scordal. Electricity, that's what we've been about since 1936. Since then, Cimarron's mission of bringing electricity to its members has been nothing short of successful. But over the years, it's become more than that. It's about powering our neighbors heating in the winter, keeping the lights on at the ball field, and keeping your phones charged to capture those special moments. We are proud to be part of your community. Thank you for being part of Cimarron for all of these years. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. 
Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. Team up with Pioneer iVideo and start streaming the most popular TV shows and movies from your favorite devices today. Download the iVideo app and start watching anywhere in your home using Pioneer Internet. Each package includes free high definition and cloud DVR features like video on demand, restart TV, and replay TV, just in case you forget to record a program. Visit gopioneer.com for more details and compatible devices. Some restrictions apply. Is your school or booster club looking for ways to fundraise? Let Downtown Threads create a custom website to showcase all your school apparel. You pick the design and the garment, we do the rest. We will handle all the payments and cut you one check when the website is closed. Call today, 580-237-7060. Downtown Threads, proudly supporting all local high school athletes. Are you looking for a bank that provides excellent security and safety for your account information? Then Bank Central is made for you. When you use our website, bcna.com, you can pay bills, check account balances, download statements, and even manage your debit card. With our mobile app, you can do all that, plus make deposits as easily as taking a picture with your phone. Talk to a CSR at any of our six locations to find the products that work best for your banking needs. At Bank Central, we're centered on you. Member FDIC. FloorTech proudly serves schools across the state of Oklahoma with their gym floor and janitorial supply needs. At Bellamy & Company, we know agriculture. Every day we actively value, market, and sell farmland and farm equipment. We also provide comprehensive insurance products for crops, farm equipment, and farm liability. This provides us a true understanding of the rural way of life, resulting in a better service for our customers. There is a difference. We'd be honored to show you. Find out more at callbellamy.com. That is callbellamy.com. For generations, the FFA has been helping our children through agriculture to grow into responsible adults. We believe in and we support the work being done by our local FFA chapters and all they do to create an enriching experience for our youth. For all you do, you have our thanks. Farm Credit of Enid. Together, we grow. With over 24 flavors of iced tea, HTO is your new destination for the best premium water and iced tea in all of Oklahoma. Offering around 500 drink combinations and half-price tea during happy hour, this is your ultimate tea playground. With a location open in Ardmore and numerous locations coming soon, including the Village in South Oklahoma City, be sure to stop by HTO and experience the best tea you've ever sipped on. When you're in the market for a new truck, what typically goes through your mind? Hi, it's John Johnson at Johnson's of Kingfisher. Is it make, the model, and from where? The Ram 1500s and 2500s are outstanding trucks, so it might just be the dealership you choose. At Johnson's of Kingfisher, our auto family has been providing Oklahoma families with quality trucks and great customer service for more than 90 years. Not many dealerships can say that. Come meet our family and take advantage of the great pricing on new Ram 1500s and 2500s during the Ram Power Days at Johnson's of Kingfisher. Halftime at Cash in the County Line Tournament, our final game of the night. The Dale Pirates lead Clinton 31 to 21. Earlier tonight, the Dale Lady Pirates a win, and they'll go play for the championship game uh, tomorrow night against Perry. They beat uh, Bethel 50 45. Yeah, 50 to 45 was the final score in the contest. And coach, what we talked about in this ball game was. Uh, and I know early on yes. you weren't really happy with it, but in the second half your defensive effort, you held a team that averages 65 points a game, 20 points under their average tonight. Yeah, we, we could play some defense, whether it's in man or zone, or we even ran some triangle in two tonight. We did some different things, and uh, that's been helpful for us. And, uh, and our girls have really bought in, and then we played much better in the second half. First half offensively was horrendous. How, how often, I mean, you guys play a tough schedule every year, and <laughs> yeah. this tournament is a war. It is. How does this prepare you for what's coming up in the next couple weeks in the playoffs and on down the road? Oh, it helps tremendously. I mean, there are some coaches that have the philosophy of just uh, padding your schedule and having a nice, pretty record and hopefully getting ranked and getting a decent draw, and then there are some coaches that want to go play tough and hopefully prepare you for what you're going to face in area in the state tournament, and that's something we do night in and night out. Um, there's not very many teams on our schedule that aren't ranked. 
and, and, and not, not just ranked, ranked in the top eight usually. Dayton Forsyth gets Dale off to a quick start here in the third quarter with a little jumper from the left side to push the lead to 12 now at 33 to 21. And I, you know, from afar, I'm from Enid, and yes. I see what you guys are doing down there. The basketball tradition at Dale. Yes. You don't have football. No. You play the extended schedule yes. starting first of November. I mean, you guys, it just, is it part of the culture down there, obviously? Well, I, I, I think there's been a lot of great coaches at Dell, and then uh, obviously um, the community and the parents and the kids are outstanding, and they really care about basketball and, and softball as well and baseball, and it's something they take pride in, and they're great kids to coach, and that definitely helps. It makes it easier for me. What's your take so far in the season as we see Dayton Forsythe knock down his second field goal of the third quarter? It's a tray to put them up 36 to 22. And, and, and give me your take on how you think this season has played out and who stepped up for you. Maybe some players that you didn't expect to step up or have really played well for you so far that you didn't expect. Well, honestly, we got off to a really slow start. We started out 0-2, and, and then I think we ended up – we were 2-3 and three at one time and had lost to some really good teams. Yeah. And then we had some seniors, and honestly, everybody stepped up their game. We had new, we had new roles that we had to establish – and do different things, and they've really done that. And then they bought into a new defensive philosophy somewhat for this team. Um, and it seems to be working, and we're, we're, we're really starting to figure it out. So you've got Perry tomorrow night. Yes. I've had a chance to see them quite a bit. We did the Wheat Capital yeah, a couple I, I of weeks ago. Yeah, I was watching that uh, Wheat Capital game, yes. As all the way to the cup. That'd be offensive, I believe it will. Yeah, it was offensive. Offensive foul on Dayton Forsyth, his first. I mean, yeah, I, I tell you what, uh, there Bradley, is, Bradley there, Dale is a stud in the paint. Yes. She, there is about a complete team as you can possibly get by having a stud inside. And then uh, the height girl, yeah. she is a really good guard that is extremely athletic, who almost plays like a boy at times when she can shoot the jump shot like a guy. And then they got shooters around them. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and Coach Duncan does an outstanding job. So they're going to be a really tough matchup for us because you watch us, we're not extremely big. <laughs> You know, and this you haven't played them the past couple of years. We yeah. saw them when they first kind of got on that roll at the yes. Wheat Capital last year, and yes. they made that run to the to the state tournament. It takes, you know, get a little bit of confidence can take you a long way. Yeah, it can. It can. And, and they're really playing well, and, and they do have confidence. They believe they should win every game just like we do, and uh, it'll be a battle tomorrow. We're going to have to figure out how in the world we're going to guard them. I haven't figured that out yet. Jackson Crumley knocks down his third triple of the ball game. He's got nine. Cuts the Dale lead to 36-27. to 27. Off the window, up and in, Dayton Forsythe. He can play a little bit. Oh, yes, he's really good, by the way. <laughs> all the, Our boys are really good. They and, can play some ball. And the youth on this team, yeah. it's all freshmen yeah, and sophomores, sophomores for the most crazy. part. Yeah, the future is bright. Yeah, they're about one of the most unselfish teams I've ever seen in my life. They can really pass the basketball, and then they do a great job uh, defending and, and, and really running and moving and – Offensive executions off the charts. And on the other end, Jackson Crumley knocks down another three. His second here in the second half and four trays in the ball game. Gets them to crawl back within eight at 38-30. to 30. You were supposed to play Bethel on Tuesday night. The game got canceled because of COVID. Were yes. you kind of aiming toward this when that game got canceled? Were you kind of aiming toward this tonight? Yes. I, I mean, I, it's going to be difficult, in my opinion, to find a time to reschedule that game. Um, I'm not in favor of playing four or five games in a week just to, for the sake of getting it in because we don't have that much debt. So our schedule's backloaded pretty heavy at the end. It'll be difficult. So, yes, this game with, Dale, or with Pethel was important for us. Three-pointer by Jones. He's got seven to make it 41-30 to 30 as we go back and forth. Caden Powell's not a bad athlete either yeah. as he just finishes in there. <laughs> this might be his third best sport from what I hear. That's exactly right. <laughs> as he was, uh, as he led uh, Clinton to the state championship on the football field last fall. And he'll go to the free throw line. He averages 20 points a game. He's got 15 now with a chance for one more. That foul was the third on Jet Higdon. Another one of those freshmen for Dale. He misses the free throw, and the rebound is cleared by Dayton Forsythe. We can't seem to get away from these guys, can we? You know, they, they're, hitting, they're hitting just enough shots to yes. stay within about 10 or so. They right? are, and that's scary when they do that. But uh, on another the, three for us. On the other end, Levi Kelly, three three-pointers. He's got nine points. This is a fun game to call. You go back and forth. We may just <laughs> keep you up here because we like calling offense. We're seeing a lot of it right now. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Out high left, that's Harrison Crumley. High right now to Jackson. Backs out the dribble. Top side, Powell slides right with the dribble this time and hands off to Jeremiah Barker. 
Powell right side, somebody will shoot it. Three-pointer right side, Harris under the baseline to Powell. Powell on the baseline, got into trouble, and the ball is saved in the, on the baseline, but it will stay with Clinton. 3.43 to play in the third quarter. 44-32 our score is checking into the ball game for the Pirates is Trey Chamber, another freshman, 6'5". Yeah, he, uh, he's moved in over Christmas break. He's a nice addition. Wow, you're kidding me. Comes in, a little yeah. transfer student. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Three-pointer right side. That'll miss oh, that's a push. Jackson Crumley. And, yeah, the foul will go against Clinton. We'll go back the other way. First team foul in the second half. It is the second on uh, Nate Jones. So the slow dribble into the half court for Dayton Forsyth. Has a team high 16 points for the Pirates. Right side on the wing, Edmondson for three. Off the iron, rebound picked up off the bounce by Jeremiah Barker. Here come the, the Red Tornado. Got high left, Barker has it. Now they work it to Powell. Powell double teamed. Looks for the open guy and throws it away. Sails off the hands of Nate Jones out of bounds. 3.07 to play in the third. Where are you headed next? Here be tomorrow? Here, be here tomorrow night, and then we've got the – are you at the Squirtle Festival next week? Are you playing uh, at that? I am not, but I hope to be there scouting. We will be there, like, camping out at Enid yes, High next yes. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. So that will be at Enid High and not at the uh, Stride Center? It is played at Enid High, Enid High's new gym. I have not been there. How is that it's place? It's great. It's an awesome atmosphere. It's very – it's a decent-sized arena. It seats about 2,000 people, but it's, it's pretty intimate. You sit right on top of the action as Dayton Forsyth finishes again. He has 18, 46-32. And now an empty trip for the Red Tornado with two and a half to play in the third. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, Enid High, you know, you're from, been up in that area. Yes, so you I know, am. a 6A school that didn't have their own basketball, own gymnasium <laughs> yeah, until last crazy. year. And Isn't that nuts? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> That was the second foul called on Jackson. Yes, you probably Crumley. remember my days at Alva. I'm oh, you sure. betcha. Yeah. You betcha. Yeah. Lady Bugs. And <laughs> we're just talking about Wheat Capital Tournament. Yeah, that's a great tournament. It really is. And this year, Fairview was not in it this year. It was kind of, you know, Blackwell wasn't in it. It was kind of hard really? to get used to. Yeah, well, Fairview went to the uh, Three Rivers Conference. Yeah, that kind of hurt. And then Blackwell didn't play in it, so some new blood in the tournament. But it Yeah, was that, stuff was, that place was stacked. Yeah. The boys' tournament was tough. Yeah, it really was. Ball tapped away, loose in the floor, and now a timeout called. That will give us a chance to let you go ahead and thank join you. your team. Hey, thank I you so much. It. You betcha. We're looking yeah. forward to seeing you tomorrow night against Perry. If you ever need any help, well, holler at me. You betcha. <laughs> All right. You betcha. Eric Smith, the head coach of the Dale Lady Pirates, will take a break. 2-0-1 to play in the third. Dale leads Clinton 46-32. And you're watching the County Line Tournament from Cashin on Scordle. Dale has scored eight straight. They've pushed what was a 10-point lead at halftime out to 14 at 46-32. We very much appreciate Eric Smith, the head coach for the Dale Lady Pirates, to come in and talk to us a little bit. Give us some insight on this boys' team as well, as well as his team. And so Clinton down by 14, gets the basketball back. We will be with you tomorrow night. Of course, all these games are on the Scordo platform beginning bright and early tomorrow morning. But our Game of the Week crew will kick in for the final four games tomorrow. Mark Rogers, Adam Dieselhorse for the two third-place games. I'll be back with Adam for the two championship games. Three on the right wing. That's knocked down. Chaz Rivers' first field goal to make it 46-35.
As we tick down to one minute to play in quarter number three. Dale cruising right now with the 11-point lead. Still plenty of time for the Red Tornado to crawl back in this one, but need to get some stops. Out high left, Deacon Jones. Bounce pass into the corner. Levi Kelly drives all the way to the cup and scores. Levi Kelly on the baseline. He's got 11. 48 to 35, 13 point lead, 47 ticks to play in the third. Top side, Caden Powell has it. Powell underneath, reverse layup, crawls off. Rebound to Trey Chamber. And then on the other end, Deacon Jones is fouled. And that will be on Harrison Crumley. It'll be his second. Sideline throw in for the Pirates. They could hold for one if they'd like with 24 seconds to play. They, they will as uh, Dayton Forsyth will cradle out high right. Harrison Crumley will come out to contest. Now he'll step back. They're going to milk this clock down under 10 seconds and run a play. Oh, Forsyth looks underneath the Chamber. Chambers missed the shot and then Chamber foul. They executed it perfectly, but Trey Chamber missed the shot inside and then committed the foul, his first. Seven seconds to play in the third quarter. Inbound to Harrison Crumley. Now to Jackson for three, top of the key. And that'll take care of the third quarter. Dale will take a 13-point lead into the final eight minutes. The Pirates lead the Red Tornado 48-35, to and you are watching the County Line Tournament on Scordal. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Wiggins Auctioneers is a full-service auction company well-versed in selling farm and ranch land, minerals, commercial and residential properties, as well as equipment, estate, and trust liquidations. In order to better serve our clients, Wiggins Realty offers conventional for sale listings as well as buyer representation. Whether buying or selling, auction or conventional, we want to be your trusted company. Wiggins Auctioneers, three generations strong and setting the standard since 1963. Dayton Forsyth leads Dale with 18 points. Levi Kelly has added 11. Clinton led by Caden Powell's 15, and Jackson Crumley has 12. And on the scoreboard, Dale leads Clinton 48 to 35. The winner of this one will take on Cashin in the championship game tomorrow night. The loser takes on OCS, who lost to Cashin in double overtime. What a ball game it was earlier this evening. Nice ball movement. Bounce pass inside. Reverse layup up and in. Levi Kelly. That was sweet. The lead is 15. 30 seconds into the fourth. Powell scores. Caden has 17. Back to a 13-point game. Open three, right corner, Levi Kelly misses that one. He's made a couple tonight. In transition, Powell ahead to Harrison Crumley. He scores. Harrison's second field goal, he has four points. All right, 11-point game at 50-39, under seven to play. Forsyth pull up 14-footer off the iron a little strong. And the rebound to Harrison Crumley. Ahead to Powell, and Powell's fouled on the drive before the shot. And it's just team foul number five. Foul is on Easton Edmondson, his first. 
And a baseline right throw in. Powell finishes. Nice look off the inbound. He's got 19. He averages 20 a game, so he's almost there. It's 50 to 41. Back to nine. It was 15 just a moment ago. Three-pointer, no good. Here comes Clinton, a chance to get even closer. Jackson Crumley draws contact. He'll go to the free throw line. Edmondson picks up his second. Fifty forty two now. After Crumley goes one for two at the line. So it might get interesting down the stretch here. It's been a while since Dale has scored into the half court. Edmondson double teamed. Now Forsyth to the baseline, double team, kicked it out high. Open three in the corner, Levi Kelly, that's a big triple. 16 for Kelly, four three-pointer for the freshman. 53 to 42. Powell inside, a little short. And the rebound on the baseline by Deacon Jones, and then he tried to save it but stepped on the baseline, so it will stay with Clinton into the ball game for the Red Tornado is Harrison Crumley back into the contest. Nate Jones will take a seat. Three on the right side, no good. Jackson Crumley misses. Inside Powell. Powell had the ball stripped away. He gathers, but he is fouled, and Caden Powell got popped in the face. Easton Edmondson just picked up his third foul. That is the seventh team foul. And I think it was on the shot, so he should be getting two free throws, I believe. Caden Powell looks for 20 points right here and looks to get his team back within 10. I think they said it's a one and one, so they'll say it was before the shot. And he missed it. And an easy layup on the other end for Levi Kelly. He's got 18. Timeout. 55-42 Dale will take a break. You're watching the County Line Tournament from Cashin on Scordle. This, this is your moment. You've got what it takes. The grit to get from first steps to finishing touches. You're here to train, to put in the hours. Because today's hard work gives you an edge. To get higher, to earn more, to fine tune a future to be proud of. Career Tech. Get skilled, get paid. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. Well, it does not happen very often, but the, 
The Cashin boys get a home game this weekend. The Scordle crew, Bryce Miller, our producer engineer, Caden the Fortune on camera, getting a chance to stay home and do Scordle games for a change. And we're so glad to be here at the County Line Tournament here at Cashin High School. Five minutes to play. Dale leads Clinton by 13. There's a three to get within 10, and it is buried by Harrison Crumley. His first three-pointer, he's got seven. Makes it 55 to 45. Edmondson will dribble out high as they try to milk a little bit of clock here with 439 to play in the 10-point lead. Put it in the hands of Jones. That might be, oh, that'll be a, a blocking foul that will go against Nate Jones, his third. We'll get a chance here to be joined by John Hardaway, the head basketball coach and the host of this tournament, head basketball coach at Cashin High School, and he's going to play in the championship game against one of these two teams as we will see Dayton Forsyth go to the free throw line. 424 to play in the contest. And, man, you had a barn burner tonight. What a, a game. Double overtime win over OCS. You know, it's hard when you're coaching, but I kept thinking, man, this has to just be a phenomenal game to just be a spectator or fan and watch. I mean, it was two really good teams, great kids, and just competing and go to two overtimes. And, you know, it's kind of what a game is supposed to be. So it, it was a lot of fun for our guys. Forsyth knocks down the first free throw. He's got 19 now and a chance for one more at the stripe to push that lead back to 12, and he does, two for two. Boy, you look at this Dale team that you might get a chance to play tomorrow, and boy, all these freshmen and sophomores, and they are good. They are tough. They, uh, they've had a good group of these young guys since they've been coming up through junior high and high school, and the thing that impresses me the most about them is how well they share the basketball. There's hardly any four shots. They not afraid to make the extra pass, drive and create for their teammates, and they just get a really high quality shot about every possession. So uh, credit to them. You can tell the job that Coach Edmondson has done with these kids. You know, having his own son out there playing too, I yeah. think it probably holds a little extra spot for him uh, in, in terms of bringing a quality of team that they have. Dale has three bodies right around Caden Powell. And the foul that will go against Jet Higdon, which will be his third. Talk about the challenge you guys have dealt with, and you seem to be dealing with it just fine. Once again, another great run by your football team to win the state championship, which gets you guys started late, but you usually have a pretty good crew of kids that don't play football that get you started at least. Yes, sir. So we had we had a handful of our kids that do not play football, and and I tell people all the time, too, I'm, I'm a pro football basketball coach. I I want our kids to do whatever they want to do, and um, you know, I, I'm, no one was happier for our football team than me. Um, you know, it did probably affect us a little bit there at Christmas because we played one game and then we practiced for a week in scrimmage and then we went and played Jinx, who was number one in 6A. And we gave him a heck of a fight. Um, but we've really kind of hit our stride here the last couple weeks. And I think we've won 10 or 11 in a row since the Tournament of Champions. And those guys are getting more comfortable. And kind of the strength of our guys is that we've got so many seniors that have been playing together for yeah. so long. And, um it just really didn't affect us too much, and, and I feel like we're in a good spot now. I want to ask you about your experience playing at the BOK Center against bigger schools. A great opportunity for you. It was it was fantastic. I that was the first time that uh, we've been fortunate enough to be invited to the tournament of champions, and you know I, I talked to some other coaches, you know small school coaches that have d had that experience, and you know they're like, oh, you definitely have to go number one and number two. It only is going to help you down the road. And I think the biggest key to it is when you play in the tournament of champions, you know you're playing three great teams. It doesn't matter where you go right or left, and you kind of have to have some perspective about it. I mean, we go there and we lose to six A number one Jinx, and we lose to defending state champions uh, number four and four A Crossings, and then we lose by two to number one Hydro defending state champion in Class A. So I mean. It wouldn't matter who was playing those three games. It, you know, there's no shame in losing all three. And it, and our kids just really kept a, a really great perspective about that experience. And it was awesome playing in the BOK. The one thing I've noticed about your program since you've been here is Dayton Forsyth will go back to the free throw line to shoot two. Is 
This tournament is loaded. You play a very, very tough schedule, gets you ready for the postseason. Talk about the schedule you've been able to play this year. I know we know about the TOC, but I know you've, you're playing tough teams all we, year long. We've played a bunch of tough teams. I mean, we uh, we hooked it up with uh, Watonga and Okarchi in our conference tournament. And then uh, a week after that, we played a pretty dang good ceiling team and uh, went down to Winniewood, and they've got just a great individual player down there. And then – uh, we were fortunate enough to play Bishop McGinnis at home on Monday, which is kind of an oddity. Really? Yes. Wow. And we, we, we beat the Bishop McGinnis in overtime, who's number wow. seven in 5A. Wow. And then, obviously, you come to this tournament, and, you know, it's, it's, it's really the tournament has just turned into just an amazing competitive field. And, uh, you know, there's not too many tournaments where the home team, this is what I was telling some of our fans, the home team, Cash and the host team, number two in their class, playing the tournament champions and is the three seed. Yeah. Yeah, because we had two number ones and Dale and OCS, and Dale had already defeated OCS. That was only OCS's only yeah. loss until tonight. So, who are you going to play next week up at Eden in the Scordal Challenge? We'll play Alva, who's number wow. two yeah. and three A. Wow, wow. Um, <laughs> that was kind of. I mean, I knew Shane. Uh, Shane and I go way back, and uh, obviously, I knew they were going to have a really quality team coming back. And it was kind of like, hey, do you want to play in the Eden downtown? He's like, yeah, sure, we'll play. And so, uh, you know, obviously, we knew we had a lot back. We knew he had a lot back, and got an opportunity to be, you know, one or two or three or whatever, depending on how it all shakes out this weekend, match up there and eat it between us and Alva. So it'll be fun. So what else do you have after next week, the last couple weeks before the playoffs start, what you got on down so the road? So then our schedule kind of – so what happens is we come back from the downtown and we'll kind of finish out our conference schedule, which will hit Okarchi again, Watonga, Crescent, Hennessy. And then our last two games of the regular season are both at home. And we bring Morrison to Cashin, who is number four in 2A. And then we bring Dale to Cashin the Monday before districts in 2A. So <laughs> both those two games are at Cashin against, you know, the top three or four teams in our class. How do you, and I know you've got a lot of connections and you run a tremendous tournament, but Thank you. how do you pull together these great fields for this tournament well, every year? <laughs> You have to make a lot of phone calls and text messages. And, and honestly, you got to have a lot of brave coaches who aren't afraid to go compete. Uh, we were talking about it just a little bit ago in the hospitality room. I mean, you know, Perry boys and Varnum boys are going to play in the seventh place game. Varnum won the state championship last yeah. year in Class B. And I know they graduated a lot of kids, but, you know, there's not many teams that win a state championship and then have to play in a seventh place game. And credit to Varnum for coming to play. You know, they could have gone to a lot of other places. And then Perry boys who have beat Morrison, they've beat Garber. I mean, had plenty of opportunities to beat us last night. Yeah. Lose a tough one to Fairview on the last buzzer. Uh, it's just that level of tournament. So uh, I give credit to all the coaches and administrators who they want to come play. And what I constantly hear from them is we want to play quality teams. We want to play teams from different parts of the state in a great environment. And uh, we really try to provide that with our county line tournament here at Cashin. That foul on Harrison Crumley is his third, and back to the free throw line is Dayton Forsythe, who's been camping out there here in the fourth quarter. He's four for four at the stripe in the fourth quarter. Now under three to play in the contest. As he knocks down another one, now he has 23. And let's talk about I mean, okay, it's 14 points. We'll go ahead and say this, okay? Right. Let's talk about your matchup tomorrow, which yeah. most likely is going to be Dale. Right, yeah, so very familiar. Um, I would say the big difference between this Dale team as opposed to the teams we've played the last couple of years is they're all pretty young. I mean, they're freshmen and sophomores. They had a pretty good uh, group of older players that kind of played for two or three years the last couple of years. It's really evolved into a very competitive game. Both teams and coaches and kids really respect each other. Um, it's fun to play in those games. We really we kind of just match up with each other well. Um, you know, we've been fortunate enough to – you know, we've come out on the right end the last couple of years against them, but every game has come down to the last couple of possessions or overtime or whatever it is, and, and I expect the same thing tomorrow. I mean, our, our kids want to play them. They want to play us, and it, it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow night uh, here back in Cashin. Give the fans a thumbnail sketch of your team and <coughs> and tell them a little bit of what they can expect tomorrow night and who's going to be I mean, who your studs. You know, I know them, but go ahead. Well, and you know, for us, uh, you know, we've, we returned everybody that played last year. Um, and a lot of those kids have played for even three or four years. Um, you know, right now we're out without our point guard, Jonah Jenkins, who's a three-year starter, four-year player. Uh, he's nursing an injury. He, he will be coming back soon, hopefully sooner than later. 
but you know, for us, if, if you've played us and watched us, you know, everybody's used to Vance Rainey, Austin Frazier, Lana Lagasse, Nick Nabavi, Trey Tishner. Uh, got some great contributions from Mason Manning, who everybody knows really well from football, and uh, Jackson Vandruff and Bryce Burke. Um, and so, I mean, it's, it's really the kind of the same cast of characters that we've had the last couple of years. And the one thing about our kids right now, and it goes for all sports, they – they know how to win, and they love being in the big game in the big moment against the best team. So that's – it's pretty hard to beat that as a coach. Dale just checked in. J.B. Lever, a 6'3 junior, and you can tell by the way the bench reacted. Yeah. This is the kid. They want to see him score. So we'll see what happens here in the final couple of minutes as both teams have emptied the bench a little bit. 2.15 to play in the ball game, 62-47 to 47 the score. And uh, I, I got to say, the hospitality room's awesome. Well, man. thank you. I appreciate that. Our uh, <laughs> our fans uh, and parents uh, really take a lot of pride in kind of going all out on that thing. And uh, Coach Manning and Miss Lyles, our home ec teacher, have kind of they kind of steer it, and then our parents just provide it. And uh, we really want to spoil all our coaches and administrators and referees. Uh, I mean, tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon, we I think we have 50 chickens and 20 okras coming from Ishans. There you go. Along with a whole lot of other stuff. And so uh, it's fun. And, and like I said, people love going in there and eating. We want people to feel at home when they're in our tournament. We want them to be well taken care of, obviously. And I know that you have got you got sponsors that help you out yep. with this. You can't do it without the townspeople yeah, and the that's sponsors. Right. That's right. We're, you know, we're, we're blessed. A lot of people support anything, Cash, and it doesn't matter what it is. And uh, – yeah, they, they definitely show out and, and, and make sure that that hospitality room is uh, loaded with all kinds of goodies uh, all day long during our tournament. We'll go ahead and let you go. We'll take a break. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate Good luck it. tomorrow. Thank you. 62-47. We'll take a break right now. Back after this is the County Line Tournament from Cash and on Scordle. Perfect. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Oh, they're back. We're back. I thought they were going to timeout. They're just putting some players in there. So we'll stay with you. <laughs> Tom Nelson, Adam Dieselhorst letting him take a bit of a break here on his fourth game of the day. And the foul that is on Kaysen Louthen, his first, and at the free throw line and scoring, that is Seth Smelzer, a six-foot-tall sophomore. They burn that time out just to get some kids in. And one for two at the stripe, makes it 63-47. Little 6-0 run here for Dale so far. They've pushed that lead up to 16, and now a foul that will go against Ethan Douglas. And will shoot free throws on the other end, and that is Montiel Crane, a 5'10 sophomore to the free throw line. For one and one. And he misses the front end. Stick around after the ball game. We'll recap the scoring, and then... Uh, Tell you what happened today, give you all the scores from our long day of basketball, and we will tell you what the schedule will be tomorrow as well. We'll have uh, seventh place games, if I can find my bracket here real quick. First game of the day tomorrow at 10 a.m. Three-pointer. No good by Zeeshawn Bolden. Final 40 seconds. Dale versus Cashin for the boys' championship. Dale versus Perry for the girls' championship. I'm excited to call those ball games. Three top of the key. Seth Smelzer, no good. Back the other way. Here comes Kyler Carlisle. Tried to dish it off to Zeeshawn Bolden. Now Bolden has the dribble out high, nearly double dribbled. Three-pointer right side. That misses from Case and Louthen. He really wanted to knock that one down. Final seven seconds now. And they'll hold it. Dale will win. 15 and 1, the record now. 63-47 the final. Clinton will fall to 9 and 4. We'll take a break, come back, wrap up this one, and tell you what's going to happen tomorrow as well as what happened today as we continue from the County Line Tournament at Cashin, and it's all on Scordle. Hey, can you count up four sizes?
price points real quick. Are you looking for a local, reliable propane provider? Earnhardt Oil and Propane has been serving customers throughout Oklahoma since 1971. Let them tailor a pricing option to fit your budget. Avoid winter price spikes with easy pay, steady, predictable monthly payments you can count on. Need more fuel options? They also offer bulk fuel delivery, DEF, lubricants, and supplies for your business, all at competitive prices. For reliability three generations strong, call Earnhardt Oil and Propane at 866-270-1279 or visit www.earnhardtpropane.com. Dr. Devin Nightingale is your chiropractic choice in North Edmond with easy access from Cashin, Guthrie, Luther, and all the Oklahoma City surrounding areas. As a former college athlete, Dr. Nightingale understands the importance of a fully functioning body to gain that competitive edge. Also certified in prenatal and pediatric treatments, Dr. Nightingale sees all types of patients, ranging from two weeks old to 97 years old. We offer conservative treatments to get you back in the game, whether you're a weekend warrior or a professional athlete. So give us a call at 405 471 5565 for a free consultation today. The thing with car buying nowadays is just how many options there are when it comes to where to actually get a car. Dealerships, websites, auctions, private sellers, and so on. But knowing exactly where to get your car loan makes it all much less stressful. That's where Communication Federal can help. There's a reason we're known for auto loans around here. Lots of car options, lots of places to buy, but only one choice for an auto loan. Communication Federal Credit Union. Now, final game of the night, the eighth game of the day on semifinal Friday night at the County Line Tournament in Cashin is a win for the Dale Pirates, their 15th win of the season against one loss as they beat Clinton 63-47. Early on back in that first quarter, we had a couple of ties and three lead changes, but then Dale scored the final seven points of the first quarter, led 15-8 after one quarter, pushed that lead to 19-8, and then it was 31-21 at the half. And they continued to add to their lead, and they scored the final six points of the ball game and win 63-47. to Check the scoring. Uh, first of all, for Clinton in a losing effort, Caden Powell had 21 points. Jackson Crumley with 13. Harrison Crumley was seven. Chaz Rivers and Nate Jones with three points apiece. For Dale, Dayton Forsyth, 24. Levi Kelly with 18. And then you had Deacon Jones with seven, Jet Higdon with six, Easton Edmondson with five, Ethan Douglas with three, and Seth Smelzer with one. So it will be Dale and Cashin for the championship tomorrow. That's an 8.30 start. Let's go back and recap the day for you. First game of the day this morning was at 11 o'clock. On the girls' side, Varnum beat OCS 58-41. At 12.20, our first boys game, Bethel over Varnum, 66-58. Our third consolation game, second on the girls' side, was a win for Cashin over Fairview, 37-23. And then at 3 o'clock this afternoon, Fairview beat Perry, 54-52. Sawyer Hutchison, a last-second tip-in. Really, it was more of a follow-up after a missed shot at the buzzer off the window to win 54-52. to And that brought us to semifinal Friday night, our first semifinal at 4.20. Perry over Clinton, 51 to 36 in girls' play. First boys semifinal, a double, a double overtime thriller as Cashin in front of a packed house here beat OCS, 57-55. And then our second girls semifinal, Dale over Bethel, 50 to 45. And our final game just completed, a win for Dale over Clinton, 63 to 47. So our schedule tomorrow, bright and early. 10 a.m. on the girls' side, it is OCS versus Fairview. I'm going to fill in something on here as I tell you about it. And then at 11.30, it's Varnum and Perry Boys for seventh place. Our consolation final on the girls' side at 1 o'clock is Varnum and Cashin. On the boys' side, the consolation final, Bethel and Fairview. Then our third-place girls' game at 4 o'clock, Clinton and Dale. Uh, Mark Rogers will have that ball game, the call on that one with... Uh, Adam Dieselhorst and Mark and Adam will have the 5.30 boys third place game, Clinton and OCS. And then I'll be back for championship Saturday night. Perry and Dale at 7 o'clock on the girls' side, 8.30 Dale and Cashin for the boys championship. It's been a lot of fun. We're looking forward to being back with you tomorrow for a long run. All these games, even before the ones we get here for, we're going to have all the games tomorrow on CashinWildcats.tv beginning bright and early at, uh, at 10 a.m. 
like to thank the crew, including Mark Rogers and Adam Dieselhorst, for their calls of tonight's ball games, and the crew, uh, uh, Bryce Miller, our producer engineer, Caden the Fortune, on camera tonight. They have been putting in the Ironman. They're the Ironman today as they've been here all day long. Once again, final score, the final game tonight on the boys' side, a win for Dale over Clinton, 63-47. to Until tomorrow, we hope you have a safe night all day tomorrow. We hope you join us. Come on out and catch the action in person, and you can watch on your phone as well. Uh, we just want to have you with us either in person or anywhere in the world online at scordle.com, uh, cashandwildcats.tv and uh, many places on the Scordal platform. Good night, everybody, from Cashin.